You are the most powerful country in the world and the richest. You are a great nation. You have so much to give and to teach the world. And I know you would say, in all modesty, a little to learn from it too, occasionally. And it must be difficult and sometimes irritating to find yourselves the recipient of every demand, to be called upon in every crisis, to be expected always and everywhere to do what needs to be done. The cry, what's it got to do with us, must be heard fairly regularly on the lips of your people and be the staple of many a politician running for office. Yet just as with the parable of the individuals and the talents, so those nations which have the power have the responsibility to use it wisely. We need you. We need America engaged. We need the dialogue with you. Europe over time will become stronger and stronger, I believe, but its time is some way off yet. And so I say to you, Never fall again for the doctrine of isolationism, because the world truly cannot afford it. Stay, please, a country outward-looking with the vision and the imagination that is the very best of your nature. And realize, too, that in doing so, you will have in Britain a friend and an ally that will stand with you, work with you, fashion with you the design of a future built on peace and prosperity for all, which is the only dream that makes humanity worth preserving. Thank you.